Welcome martial arts enthusiasts and curious minds alike to the fascinating world of Kung Fu. Imagine a land, ancient China, where monks developed a system of self-defense rooted in the observation of animals and nature. This system, Kung Fu, has since evolved into a rich tapestry of martial arts styles, each with its unique philosophy and technique. From the fluidity of the snake to the agility of the monkey, the ferocity of the tiger to the majesty of the dragon, Kung Fu's depth and variety are truly awe-inspiring. It's not just a martial art, it's a way of life, a blend of physicality, spirituality and mental discipline that has influenced millions worldwide. Whether for self-defense, fitness or inner peace, Kung Fu offers something for everyone. Today, we delve into one of these styles, a style that embodies strength, agility and grace. Our focus today is on the captivating snake style. Delving into the annals of martial arts history, we find the origins of the snake style embedded in the ancient Chinese martial arts tradition. It's a style that emphasizes mimicking the movements of a snake, smooth, flowing, and deceptively powerful. The snake style is more than just a series of movements. It's a philosophy, a way of life. The philosophy of the snake style revolves around the principle of yin and yang, the balance of strength and flexibility, power and finesse. It teaches practitioners to move like a snake fluidly and unpredictably, to strike at the most opportune moment with precision and power. The snake style has left a significant imprint on martial arts and popular culture. Its influence can be seen in various forms of media, from classic martial arts films to modern action blockbusters. The fluid movements, the precision strikes, and the philosophical underpinnings of the snake style have captivated audiences worldwide making it one of the most recognized and revered styles of Kung Fu. Yet the snake style is not just about the strikes and movements, it's about understanding the rhythm of combat, the ebb and flow of attack and defense. It's about harnessing the power of your mind to control your body, to move with purpose and strike with precision. This style is unique in its approach to defense. Rather than relying on brute strength, the snake style encourages deflections and redirects, using minimal force to overcome an opponent's attacks. It's a testament to the style's philosophy of balance and harmony, of using an opponent's strength against them. The snake style is a fascinating and complex system of martial arts, offering a unique blend of physical prowess, mental discipline and philosophical insight. But as captivating as it may be, it's important to remember that learning any form of martial arts, including the snake style, requires proper instruction and training. So whether you're a seasoned martial artist looking to explore a new style or a beginner intrigued by the world of Kung Fu, remember, while we share insight on this style, always consult a qualified instructor for proper training. Before we delve deeper, let's understand the foundation, the basic training. Any journey begins with a first step, and in Kung Fu, that first step is warming up. Picture light cardio exercises, a brisk jog or jump rope perhaps. This gets the heart pumping and the muscles primed for action. Dynamic stretches follow, focusing on the legs and core, the powerhouses of your Kung Fu prowess. Now let's talk stances. These are the pillars of your martial arts journey. The horse stance, a wide-legged, knees-bent position, is the embodiment of strength and stability. The empty stance, on the other hand, is all about lightness and agility, with one foot lightly touching the ground. Both stances demand keen attention to posture and weight distribution. Imagine yourself as a tree, firmly rooted in the ground, yet flexible enough to sway with the wind. Footwork isn't just about moving, it's about dancing with purpose. With footwork drills, you learn agility, balance and coordination, all essential elements of Kung Fu. It's about knowing where to step, when to pivot, and how to glide with grace and precision. But what's movement without breath, right? Breathing exercises play a crucial role in martial arts. They're not just about filling your lungs with air, they're about focus, power generation, and stamina. Picture yourself as a bellows, stoking the fire within with each breath. Remember, these basics, though simple, form the backbone of any Kung Fu style. They're the canvas upon which you'll paint your martial arts journey. So practice them, master them, and make them second nature. And as you do, you'll find yourself not just performing Kung Fu, but living it. And that's the beauty of basic training. 
It's not just about the moves you learn, but the person you become in the process. So embrace the journey, respect the process, and remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. These basics, though simple, form the backbone of any Kung Fu style. Now, we venture into the heart of the snake style. Snake style is an intriguing form of Kung Fu, borrowing its inspiration from the smooth and flowing movements of a snake. This style places a heavy emphasis on mimicking the snake's deceptive and lethal precision, creating a martial art that is as mesmerizing as it's effective. The first key element of snake style is its striking techniques. Instead of relying on brute strength, this style focuses on open palm strikes, finger jabs, and forearm blows. Each strike is aimed with precision, targeting an opponent's pressure points. Picture a snake's fang piercing its target. It's not the power but the precision that matters. The fingers and palms become the snake's fangs, and the forearm mirrors the snake's body, delivering swift, precise strikes that can incapacitate an opponent. Moving on to the defensive strategies of snake style, it's worth noting that it does not utilize hard blocks. Instead, the emphasis is on deflections and redirects. Just like a snake that slips away from danger, a practitioner of this style uses minimal force to overcome an opponent's attacks. The idea is to use the opponent's momentum against them, redirecting their energy to create openings for counterattacks. It's less about meeting force with force, and more about cunningly evading and striking back when the opportunity presents itself. Footwork in snake style is equally fascinating. The slithering footwork is designed for quick changes in direction and maintaining distance. Just as a snake slithers swiftly across various terrains, a practitioner must be able to move fluidly and unpredictably. This footwork allows for swift evasion of attacks and the ability to strike from unexpected angles. To practice these elements, specific exercises have been developed. Shadow boxing drills are one such exercise, where practitioners mimic snake movements, incorporating strikes and footwork. These drills help refine the fluidity of movement and precision of strikes, and they also aid in understanding the rhythm and flow of snake style. Another set of exercises focuses on partner drills. These drills emphasize deflecting and redirecting attacks. Practitioners take turns launching and defending against attacks, learning to anticipate movements and respond accordingly. The goal is to cultivate a sense of timing and precision, to know when to deflect, when to redirect, and when to strike. Snake style is a testament to the idea that strength isn't always about power, it's about understanding your body, knowing your opponent, and using smart strategies to win. It's about moving with grace, attacking with precision, and defending with minimal effort. It's about mimicking the deceptive simplicity of a snake, and using it to your advantage. Snake style, with its deceptive simplicity and lethal precision, truly exemplifies the philosophy of using minimal force for maximum effect. After an intense session, it's time to cool down and reflect. Cooling down isn't just a way to transition from the high energy of training to the restfulness of everyday life. It's an important step that helps your body recover and adapt to the workout. It also serves as a period of reflection, a time to look back and assess your progress and areas for improvement. Let's start with some static stretches. Remember, our primary focus here is on the major muscle groups we've engaged during training. We're talking about your core, your legs, and of course your arms. Hold each stretch for about 20 to 30 seconds and remember to breathe naturally. Don't rush it. The goal is to gradually increase your flexibility and range of motion over time, not to become a contortionist overnight. Speaking of breathing, let's move on to some breathing exercises. These will help you relax and recover more quickly. Try to take slow, deep breaths, filling your lungs completely before gently exhaling. Focus on the rhythm of your breath, allowing it to anchor you in the present moment. This is not just about physical recovery, but mental relaxation as well. Now, let's take a moment to recap what we've learned today. We've explored the snake style of Kung Fu, a style that emphasizes smooth, flowing movements and deceptive strikes. We've learned about its unique hand strikes, deflections and slithering footwork. We've also practiced shadow boxing and partner drills to incorporate these elements into our own martial practice. But remember, this is just the beginning of your journey. There's always more to learn, more to practice, and more to explore in the world of martial arts. Don't be discouraged if you don't master everything right away. Mastery takes time. It takes persistence. It takes patience. As we conclude, remember, the journey of martial arts is a continuous one. Keep exploring, keep learning. 
It's not about the destination, but the journey itself. And what a fascinating journey it is. Until next time, stay curious, stay disciplined, and most importantly, stay safe.